Hey, what's up? I'm Ga. This is Seven Mortal Sins. Welcome! So, lately we've been getting some new players in the Discord, and with new players comes a lot of questions. Uh, had an interaction this morning, kind of asking some things about characters. Uh, so I wanted to go over uh, the character classes in the game, uh, and kind of do a guide on that. And by classes, I don't mean things like tank, DPS, support. Uh, I would say those are more roles. What I mean by classes uh, is this game has four classifications for characters. Uh, sins, Virtues, Riders, and Awakers. And if you've ever played uh, anything like any of the Pokemon video games, um, the classifications uh, for characters basically help determine a character's BST or base stat total so like sins and virtues are gonna have the highest uh, base stats and damage percent on their skills uh, riders are gonna be a little bit higher uh, than awakers but lower than sins and virtues and awakers typically have the lowest uh, BST which usually means they kind of get pigeonholed into support roles. Uh, so I got the Soulpedia pulled up here, so I'm going to kind of show you uh, the difference between Sins, Virtues, Riders, uh, and Awakers. So uh, the way it's organized in the Soulpedia is the Sins are first, and then you've got the Virtues, uh, and then you've got the Riders, and then all of the Awakers. So the Sins are typically going to be your premium uh, DPS or sub-DPS characters. Characters like Lucifer, Satan, uh, Belial, uh, all like DPS. Uh, you know, a couple exceptions being uh, characters like Beals, or Belphegor, who are more tank, healery kind of characters, and then Asmodeus, who's pretty much just a straight support character, um, charm, charm based. Mm. And then Virtues are typically the the premium uh, support characters in the game. Uh, you know, again, a couple exceptions. Um, Michael is a little bit more towards the DPS side, still uh, got some support in her kit. Uh, and then both versions of Gabby are uh, basically just pure DPS. Uh, and then Riders, uh, kind of in the middle ground as far as like cost goes. They're not quite premium. They're a little bit more accessible than uh, Sins and Virtues, but usually they lean towards uh, the support slash uh, sub DPS um, style. And as of right now, we only have four uh, and one alt for them. Uh, and then Rider, or not Riders, Awakers, I have a lot, a lot to say about. So these characters are the most accessible, they're the lowest cost to build, um, and there's a big misconception within the community that all Awakers are pretty much just straight garbage, which I, I don't agree with. There are uh, some, I mean, it's kind of like walking through a minefield, right? Like, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of mines in there that are bad, like a lot of Awakers are bad, uh, but there are some gems in there too. Uh, they're easier to build than Sins, Virtues, and Riders. They require less resources uh, to build up. Their resources are more available uh, in the game. Um, they typically end up being supports just because, like I said, their BST is the lowest uh, compared to the other classes. Uh, but they're really good to help flesh out your account, um, especially in something like Grand Coliseum, where you need three teams and having to build 15 SVRs gets extremely costly very quickly. 
and building up a couple of awakers can help you fill in some of the holes in your teams. Uh, they're actually an asset to your account if they're built right. Um, and some of them even have uh, roles, uh, not, not, not her, uh, some of them have roles that aren't completely uh, overshadowed by SVRs. Like, for example, Furka, wherever she is, Furka uh, is basically like pretty much the best awaker. Like, she um, accelerates your team for the most part. And then uh, Chaco Nona uh, is a, a good replacement or substitute for Asmodeus. They both kind of fill the same role. So if you're using Asmodeus on one of your teams, uh, but you still need another charmer and you don't have Thyla built or don't want to build Thyla, uh, then Chaco Nona can fill that, uh, that role nicely. Um, and Probably the best thing about them is they don't compete for resources with your SVRs. Like for example, uh, I wanted to build up my Sariel, right? But I also needed a dedicated healer, which would have been Metatron. But they're competing for the same uh, themed resources, basically like the uh, the virtue tomes that you can get in the shop. But uh, I had to sacrifice my chance to build Metatron so that I could build Sariel. But when uh, Cherry Seer came out, I had another opportunity because I had uh, Awaker materials that I could use to build her and she could be the dedicated healer for my account. And also, uh, they're very, very easy to build up, like in the background. So if we head over to my cast list, you can see that my Chokunona is plus 11. I only got her to plus four on her banner. And slowly over time, the game just kind of gives you things for Awakers, and I've just been you know, feeding them to Nona, and soon I'll have another maxed out character to uh, add to my teams. Um, and the Awaker banners uh, are typically less expensive than uh, SVR banners, so right now uh, we have uh, Maman's banner out, and you can see it's a thousand gems to summon versus Nikita's banner where it's only 600. And their, um, their Soul Mirror banners are also less expensive, 700 versus 400. So you can really just focus on like the main SVRs for your account, like your, the main five, let's say, and then with the resources that you kind of uh, acquire over time that can't be used by your sins, virtues, or writers, you can take those and start investing into some good awakers. Like for example, I use Furka in Grand Coliseum all the time. I use Thyla all the time. Uh, I use uh, my Cherry Seer all the time and soon I'll even have uh, my Chaku Nona done and ready to go. So don't don't un underestimate uh, Awakers because they they can do some nasty things. Like I don't have um, one of the best ones, but even uh, even top tier players can use Viola. She's very potent. Um, and she's just really good. And we're even getting more Awakers in the future that, uh, you know, like add on to that, where they're also going to be very potent. And like Nikita, Nikita's great support for reds that you just can't find in the SVR pool. And one, one last thing uh, before I head out. 
don't don't let anyone bully you out of using characters that you like if you know one of these SVRs or one of these awakers is you know your favorite character like your waifu don't let anyone tell you not to play them you know the most important thing about uh, building your account in this game is having characters you like and you know you can take any character that you like put them on a team as long as they're built up and you have good characters with them uh, and built around them you can still do well and have some fun all right um, but yeah you know come hang out on the discord links gonna be in the description uh, it's usually a pretty chill community we try to be as helpful as we can <laughs> sometimes it gets a little uh, uh, interesting, but come on, hang out. Always a good time all around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.